Hey guys, welcome back to Diesel Play Talk. Thank you all so much for tuning in to me. And in today's episode, as promised, we are going to do the Mosasaur versus the Plesiosaur. We're gonna take it to the waters this time, guys. We're gonna go through the DPS, the uh, platform saddle, the stats, the speed, and every single thing about them. Even the amount of trank arrows that you actually have to take to bring down a level 50 Mosasaur and a level 50 Plesiosaur. So, without further ado, before we get to it, for those guys who like the video, remember to smash the subscribe and the like button and also leave your comments behind. And let's get to it, guys. So, first up, let's check out the 100 melee damage baseline competition. The Mosasaur or the Plesiosaur, guys, per bite, the Mosasaur did more damage at 99.6. However, in terms of DPS, the Mosasaur had 1 times attack speed, but the Plesiosaur had 1.4 times of its attack speed. So, the DPS wise, the Plesiosaur definitely came up tops. However, the difference for 100% melee damage wasn't that much, which only came up to plus 5 of that of the Mosasaur. Part 2 Movement Speed The Mosasaur and the Plesiosaur started up with 100% movement speed. The time taken for them to swim the same distance came up to be 10 seconds. So I had to do a little bit more experimentation on this. I went ahead and bumped in 5 stats into the Mosasaur and the Plesiosaur's movement speed and calculated their speed again. And the results surprised me slightly. The Plesiosaur came up slightly better for every stat pumped in into its movement speed as compared to the Mosasaur. All in all, 5 stats pumped into the Plesiosaur shaved off 1 second while 5 stats pumped into the Mosasaur's movement speed only shaved off 0.5 seconds. So in terms of movement speed, when you pump in movement speed stats into the Dinos, the Plesiosaur tend to get upper hand platform saddle so is the mechanics of the platform saddle for both the plesiosaur and the mosasaur exactly the same as that for the bronto and the Paraser? i had to check it out guys so a quick refresher on what we actually tested out in the previous video when we placed the bronto against the Paraser. So I found out something interesting guys, the dino will weigh 20 which just is platform saddle on. If you mount it as a rider, it doesn't gain any weight and the weight will be the same. However, once you dismount the dino as a rider but remain on the dino, the weight tends to increase to 49.8. So to really see if the weight of the survivor is 29.8, I even went and did a mind wipe to reduce my weight to 100. And guess what guys? The weight of the survivor is 29.8. Another interesting thing I actually found out about a platform saddle is that with installations such as structures, turrets, smithy, storage boxes, the weight doesn't seem to increase. It tends to only increase if you are on the dyno holding on to those items in your inventory. Once it's actually installed on the dino's platform saddle, the weight tends to remain the same for the dino. And the weight only tends to actually increase when you have items placed into the storage boxes or the smithy. I went ahead and tested it out with the Mosasaur and Plesiosaur's platform saddle and the mechanics was exactly the same. The player weighs 29.8 guys. I'm not too sure whether it's kg, pounds, grams, <laughs> but 29.8 in terms of game weight. So the maximum structures allowed on the Mosasaur saddle was 75 and the Plesiosaur 63. One of the questions I've always been asked is whether these dinos are able to get through the underwater cave to retrieve the artifact. So there are two underwater caves, one over at the western side and the other one over at the eastern side which I've drawn in this beautiful picture with a nice little yellow star. <laughs> so the one over at the western side is a pretty easy underwater cave and both the dinos can easily access them. What about the one over at the eastern side? The one over at the eastern side requires the dinos to get through a small opening and a tight little window towards the end to retrieve the artifact. 
The thing of importance to take note is that the plesiosaur gets through the opening easily. However, the mosasaur tends to get a little bit glitchy towards the end and you will have to like move the mosasaur up and down a little bit before it can actually get through that opening. So the bottom line is both the mosasaur and the plesiosaur can get through both of the underwater caves to retrieve the artifact. One of the downsides to the plesiosaur is actually its AOE. Because of its small head and attack range, you got to get really close to the enemies before you can deal some damage. The mosasaur definitely does better in this area. A level 50 mosasaur took 82 trank arrows to be knocked out. A level 50 plesiosaur took half of that to be knocked out at only 41 trank arrows. In terms of torpor depletion, it was pretty significant guys. The plesiosaur depleted torpor at 4.19 per second as compared to the mosasaur which depleted 6 times more torpor than the plesiosaur at 26.3 torpor per second. The Mosasaur, it's definitely going to be a way harder tank. Let's take a look at the stat increment guys. In terms of health, stamina, weight and melee damage, the Mosasaur is a clear winner. When it comes to health and stamina, the increment per stat is more than two times that of the Plesiosaur. And when it comes to weight and melee damage, it's approximately between 1.2 to 1.5 times more. And both these dinosaurs have the same movement speed in terms of stat increment. Alright guys, so there you go. The Mosasaur versus the Plesiosaur. Which one is your favorite? Leave it in the comment section below. And I'm going to tell you guys which one is my favorite right now. I definitely prefer the Mosasaur guys. Reason being he is a little bit more tankier and he deals slightly more damage as compared to the Plesiosaur. But I really love the Plesiosaur for this. <laughs> That's right guys, his cute little movement, he just looks so clumsy. So, thank you so much for watching guys, till next time, take care and goodbye. <laughs>